just wanted to add uh, the reason why you get a, a fermentation in the bottle, which is what really makes it good, is according to, I think everybody here, uh, you need to have that champagne -y, I don't want to say champagne-like, I think I'm already rejected that word, but, but that kind of uh, highly carbonated, um, spritzy fitness that we all love. I've not rejected the world, but some goods are better than champagne. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think we're all beer people here, so anyway. The reason why that happens uh, is, is simply that, uh, well, when you, when you have the, the lambique in the, in the casks fermenting, uh, what, what yeast do, quite simply, is eat sugars and produce other things. So they turn sugar into uh, normally, I guess I'd say about four things. It, it, you, generally speaking, you get uh, carbonation, CO2, carbon dioxide. On top of that, you get alcohol, which is what makes beer so popular in the end, I'm sure. And then there are uh, flavor compounds, uh, esters normally, uh, all kinds of flavors you might get. Fruity flavors, uh, vanilla, spicy flavors, floral flavors, all, uh, aromas, all kinds of things you get. Um, and that's what, to me, makes fermentation especially interesting. And, and then finally, um, you get acids. The one that Lambic brewers really want is lactic acid. Lactic refers to milk, of course. It's not like milk, but it's a, it's a, it's a sourness you get in like a yogurt or it's a lemony kind of flavor too. It's a little bit like citric acid. But anyway, you get that. Ideally, and for some people, the more the better. But you also can get uh, little bits of acetic acid, which is vinegar, and that's what you don't want. And that's why, as Frank said, uh, he's brewing only in the cold parts of the year because in the warm months, the wild yeasts, they go crazy and they will start to produce a lot more vinegar. And if you get vinegar, you either got to put a lot of sugar or something into the beer to make it a little bit more palatable. Not really that palatable in my opinion, but, or you throw it out. And nobody here is really rolling in dough to throw a lot of beer out. So you really try hard not to get lactic, not to get to vinegar in your beers. The reason why a guz has one, two, and three-year-old beers is that the yeast uh, over the time is, is eating the sugars. So you'll have no sweetness at the end. Except if you let take only a one-year-old beer, it will it will um, have still have sugars left in it. They aren't there gone. Is, there, there is no more sweetness in the lambic. Yeah. Lambic, uh, lambic are dry. Yeah. And uh, I think Frank can be maybe say more about it, but when we blend three different lambics, uh, you don't have sugar no more in the old one. And I think in the, in the young one, only 20%. When you brew uh, a lambic, in the brew house, you will produce uh, a lot of different sugars. The most simple ones are uh, glucose, uh, but and the most abundant one uh, is, is maltose. It's a disaccharide, and then you get three saccharides, and all normal yeast will ferment the mono, the, and three saccharides. All the higher sugars in a lager beer or, or in another top fermented beer will never be fermented. This is different in Lambic. In Lambic, uh, the Bretanomyces yeast, the famous Bretanomyces brisolensis, the wild yeast, they are able to ferment also the saccharides with four units and with five units. So the fermentation degree in Lambic is much higher than in another beer. But of course there are dextrins and these dextrins are not uh, fermentable. But of course uh, it is interesting to have these uh, dextrins in the beer in Lambic because otherwise you would not have foam on the beer. So no dextrins, no, no foam. Dextrins combine to some protein, uh, some proteins of a certain size. So how much? Normally if you measure the gravity of the beer, I you see, it. yeah that the apparent, gra apparent uh, gravity will be zero. But that, is, that doesn't mean that there is no sugar. It does mean that that the light alcohol, because alcohol is light, weights 20% 20, 20 lighter than water, the light alcohol compensates for the heavy sugar. So in fact, the weight is the same as water, but the remaining sugar is about 20%. But you won't taste it because these sugars, they do not give a sweet taste. Not at all. So far about sugar. Thank you, Professor.